I do have one more question. Yes. It's, a, it's related to this. It's about visualization as a, a technique for healing. visualization is taking something into more and more specific. This is what I was wondering about it. Since every subject is two subjects wanted and lack of wanted. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would be certain that we were on the good feeling end of the stick before we would become more specific as in visualization yes. or more specific as in affirmation. Okay. Do your affirming from your state of alignment and do your visualization from your state of alignment. Don't use either one to try to get into alignment because it will backfire on you. That's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. You recognize that, don't you? And in simple terms, you could call it just trying too hard, right. trying to compensate for how I really feel with words and action. As you were talking, something that occurred to me is that it's almost like, you know, having the issue disappear would be kind of a, a pat on the back. Oh, well, there, there, you, you did the right thing. Validation. Like validation being right. But that justification and validation. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is the piece that is new to this discussion. That is the piece that all of you are looking for. Yeah. If you can let the validation, if you need it and it's all right, mm -hmm. if you can let it be the emotional response, then you can get there fast and you can stay there long. If you need the validation to be the all the way manifest. In other words, let's look at this vibration of desire that you want to turn into a full fledged manifestation that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch. But if you're needing that too soon in the game, you can't get there. If you can let the good feeling be what you're looking for, you can get there fast and you can maintain that long. And once you get the hang of that, then the rest must follow. But if you demand this before you've got this, if you demand the manifestation, if you demand the changed condition before you've got the uncondition, which is what we're calling the emotion, mm -hmm. then you don't get there. Mm -hmm. Did you follow that? Mm -hmm. So let us just ask you some questions. Is it easier for you from where you stand right now to deposit $10 million in your bank or to find a thought that feels good around the subject of prosperity, which is easier, the emotion or the manifestation, the emotion, which is likely to happen this afternoon, the emotion, the emotion or the manifestation. The so what we want you to hear from us is if you can make the emotion, the big deal that it is, if you can make it the prize because it represents connection to all of the resources. If you mm -hmm. can let that be what you're reaching for, because you can get it now, 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 you can get so good that you can stay pretty steadily there all the time. And when you're not, it's not a big deal. You know, you can get back there. You can become expectant of feeling good. And when you are expectant of feeling good, then those manifestations will follow. So here's the trap that you think we just put you in. If you need the change in the condition in order to feel good, it's slow in coming. If ever, if you can feel good anyway, then the condition will come. Well, Abraham, do you want us to have the condition or not? Yes. We want you to have the condition. We want you to have the full blown manifestation. Yes, yes, yes. We're just telling you how to get it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We want you to have the physical improvement. Yes. We want you to have big piles of money. Yes. We want you to have all of those manifestations. We just want you to find the uncondition of it first. Then the condition must follow. But if the condition must be before it is, now you're looking right at the lack of it. So what's the vibration that you're offering the lack of it. But when you're finding the emotion of it, what are you looking at the fullness of it? Can you feel the difference? Yeah. It's big. It's what deliberate creating is. It's the difference between those masters that you have revered in all subjects. Those who accomplish the things that you are wanting to accomplish have discovered this. And it feels like a paradox to you. It feels like a contradiction. It sounds like we're saying if you don't want it, then you'll get it. But that's not what we're saying at all because your desire is in place. So what we're saying is if you can surrender your resistance of your desire, then it must come. Yeah. If you say, I want it so bad it hurts. That's not a good sign. <laughs> if you say, when I think about it, I am joyful. Oh, that's such a good sign. Okay. 
when you say when I think about it I'm just frisky that's <laughs> such a good sign when I think about it I worry not a good sign yeah. good and I feel like I'm mostly in that direction yeah and that yeah. feels really good yeah 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 you only have to be about 51 49 in order to be moving toward what you want when you get up around 60 or 70 you're the happiest person that almost anybody knows when you're feeling good most of the time you're rocking it people are looking at you and saying hey you've got way more than your fair share of all the good stuff <laughs> that's what they'll say to you hey hey how come all the good stuff comes to you all of it doesn't just my fair share what's your fair share all that you have the ability to let in that's your fair share good Thank you. yeah Is it okay if I tell the story that Esther wanted me to tell? Certainly. Yeah, so I, uh, years ago when, long before Esther, I lived with a girl in, um... <laughs> in El Paso. And uh, she was a Miss, you know, something, West Texas kind of person, Wait, you Esther's know? coming out of trance. <laughs> So anyway, she'd tell me all these stories of all these guys who had abused her and beat her up and, and uh, thrown her around and blacked her eyes and uh, bruised her. And, and she had all that to prove it. And we lived together a very short time, but I never, ever beat up a woman. And I really wanted to beat her up. I mean, I really, really, I mean, I really wanted to hurt her and, and hit her a lot. And so instead, I just kicked her out. So then... Um, she went off and found another guy, and of course, and then uh, I got a call one day. Oh, Jerry, oh, she's just crying and crying. He's going to kill me, and what am I going to do? How you got to save me. This guy, he's just this horrible man, and, and uh, please, please come and save me. I don't, he took the car, and so I raced over, and we loaded all her stuff in the car, you know, and I said, let's get out of here before he gets back. And uh, she says, wait a minute, wait a minute, and she runs back in, and I'm running in behind her, and uh, she gets her lifting out of the purse, and I'm not going to say what she wrote on his mirror. But I, t I said, come on. I, you know, she's just insisted on him chasing her so he'll beat her up again. My point is, I, there's no way I could ever argue with her that she was attracting that to herself. But it was really clear for somebody like me who don't typically beat up nice girls that um, <laughs> she really makes you want to. But anyway, I just thought I'd just throw that there. And so it brings a new light to the phrase you have it coming <laughs> well law of attraction is talking about that isn't it in other words she certainly didn't deserve it no, no. and she certainly didn't want it but it certainly did become her pattern of expectation in other words law of attraction says that like is drawn into itself and so when by whatever reason you're in a situation where you are having these strong kind of experiences it's hard to get beat up without noticing that you're being beat up and it's hard to not feel beaten and so as you offer that vibration then law of attraction just brings you more of it and so the question is how can I stand in a situation that is less than what I want and not continue to offer the vibration about what it is and we want to say to you that the predominant reason is because most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they are observing you've just gotten so enamored by physical reality you want to historically document it you make monuments about it you take pictures of it you do everything that you can do in order to preserve your past and in doing so you teach yourself to observe what is observe what is observe what is so that almost all of your vibrational offering is about your observance of what is well if all or nearly all of your vibrational offering is about what is and you want something different but law of attraction is responding to what you're offering then what is doesn't change very much does it so it's different places different faces but essentially the same point of attraction continues to occur so what you finally have to decide is how can I offer a different vibration under these conditions how can I live 
the action journey that I seem to be upon but take a different emotional journey how can I offer a vibration that's different than what currently is manifesting because if you can't nothing much will change and if you can everything can change so it's a matter of making a decision that I will offer a different vibration but then you have to do it by letting something else be the reason that you are focusing don't focus because it's true focus because it feels good don't focus because it is focus because you want something specific in other words let your focus follow your desire and most of all don't try to do it all at once just let it get a little better and a little better and a little better and a little better and a little better until before you know it it's really really good and getting a little better and a little better and a little better but it's really really good and getting better and better and better and better and better but it's really really good and getting better and better and better and better and better and people who are watching you will wonder what your magic is and in your wisdom you may explain to them I stopped looking at what is and started looking forward to what I preferred and what I preferred then became what is then what when what I prefer is what is now do I just look at what is well it's a better time to look at what is when you like it so sift through be a selective sifter and look at what is but choose the parts of what is that feel best so if you decide to look at the best of what is now more of what is will begin to look more like the best of what is and you don't even have to use your imagination or you can ignore what is altogether, get really delusional, paint pictures of things that you really want and create a whole new life. In other words, the universal resources will follow the vibration of your thoughts. So whether you're dreaming it, whether you're making it up, whether you're selectively sifting, it doesn't matter where you get your data. Pick a good movie that you really like, that you'd like to live and watch it every single day. And before you know it, you'll be offering a vibration like it, you see. That was good. That was good. Really <laughs>